Bill Moziello will be the head coach in this one because Kirk Sarlos in that Big 12 tournament got ejected a two game suspension served one of them during the Big 12 tournament the other one's coming tonight so Kirk wherever you are hope you enjoy the, the broadcast and that one is just off the plate and there's a four pitch walk to the barge spikes it did he go no swing so there will be first and second now Open in, runner goes, throw to third, in time and got him. Inning is over, Burke throws out to Barge, and that'll do it for Louisiana. And he does, rips that one down the line and left. It'll roll up against the wall. And a stand-up double for Tommy Sacco, his 22nd double of the year. It's a slow chopper and short. Well done by Kyle DeBarge and nothing on the board for Louisiana. Current format. It changed college baseball in my, oh, that one hit him on the hands. And that'll send 3-1 ERA. Oh, that ball is absolutely blasted. saw it land. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that was Will Bayon's fourth home run. You would have thought he hit 40 the way he hit that one and watched it <laughs> right. go. My goodness, we were wondering where Connor Kimple was. Well, now it makes a little more sense. Will Bayon out of the eight hole just smashes this ball to left, low and in, and that's a good feeling as a hitter when you don't even feel the baseball come off the bat, and you're right, that ball had to go. In that tree area. And that one is touched. LaFleur hammers this one out of the ballpark. Back to back jacks for Louisiana. The raging Cajuns are a raging. We knew coming in they weren't going to be scared. The eight hole, Will Vaughn with the first two runs with the two run shot, and then the nine, LaFleur comes right behind him. Cornelio probably still a little shook by the first home run, uh, but we didn't get to 30. That ball's laced out to left. That'll one hop off the wall. Gray Rogers in safely at second for a double, and a good start for TCU here in the third. Three on the year. And that average may go up. And it does. Home run. Tommy Sacco, his 13th of the year. A two run shot with two strikes and two outs. going to challenge the best hitter in this TCU lineup and you let him hang around for five or six pitches he's going to start to get the tempo Tommy Sacco already with the double in the first inning gets a fastball out over the plate and that ball was a bolt out to left center uh, means the world to Matt I know there's the butt right in front of the plate Brock just couldn't pick it up Took his eyes off the ball and everybody's. Ground ball to the right side. Only play is going to be to first. Runners move up 90 feet, but there's two outs. There it is. Base hit to the right side. One run is in. Here's the throw. Not in time. Two will score, but they have got Burn hung up. But a two RBI single to the right side has given TCU the one run lead. It's now four to two RBIs with two outs. That one right off the foot. Runner goes, throw down to second. In time. Bird 
with his second caught stealing of the night. This makes it that much more difficult as a hitter. Runner goes. This one's down in the dirt and it gets out of the center field. Well, that one had a tail on it. And a stolen base for Heath Hood, his 18th of the year. And Runner goes. Slapped out to right. Hood will turn the corner and he will score standing up. And Louisiana just tied this thing up at four. C.J. Willis got the barrel on that one. It'll drop in for a base hit. It'll scoot all the way to the wall. Willis will wind up at second. Now he's going to head for third. They're going to send the runner in, and Brock will score as that ball gets away, and it's now a 5-4 Louisiana lead. A right-handed sinker ball guy. He goes out and pulls this ball. Gets the barrel out, rips it down the right field line with two outs. You're going to send Brock all the way around, even if you think he's going to be out at home plate. But the ball gets past the cutoff guy all the way in. Brock scores. C.J. Willis. Making just a second start at second base. And boy, that one catches Veon. It's going to be some sort of off speed. Doesn't matter. Savage gets the strikeout, but... Uh, the good news is there's two outs right now if you're a Raging <laughs> yeah. Cajun fan. Well, you're right. There it is. Hey. Throw down to second. Safe at second. Slow roll to third. Taylor throws. And that gets away from Bishop up against the wall. That'll get a run home. So the stolen base plays a large role in Louisiana's sixth run of the game. Okay, getting jammed. There's the strikeout. Savage into the dugout. Pumping himself up. Lifted high in the air. Parker Brown delivers. Just hit his fifth home run of the year. And we got ourselves a 6 5 game. To the right side, and that is just past a diving Rogers at second base, and that'll be a base hit because Max Marshock, the center fielder, to start this game in leadoff, man. Turned an ankle, and there's a ball that'll get C.J. Willis down to second base. Yeah. Ground ball knocked down by Hill. Throw to first. He threw it away. Let's go. That'll get a run in. Second and third. The lead is now seven to five. Chopper fielded by Taylor. His throw is on the money, but another run comes across. We're heading to. That just misses. I did. Elevated. Shot out to right, and a diving effort can't be corralled by Hood. It gets past him. They're going to wave the runner. The throw goes to second. Actually, it goes to third. Nobody's there to cut it off, and it's a 7-6 game. Because you can't fault an outfielder for trying to make this play for the third out, and he's so close. But after the fact, if you let it just bounce and give him the base hit, it's first and second with two outs. Yeah! But we will head to the ninth. It's a one-run game. That ball 
Ball smoked out to right. The plate perfectly by Heath Hood, and that is one out. Three straight foul balls. Not this time. There's the strikeout. 93 up in the zone. Buries it. 25th appearance of the year for Tor. And I don't know if that's the worst thing that could happen. To the right side. Fielded there by Rinconis, and that'll do it. Louisiana has upset TCU. The Raging Cajuns win it 7-6.